the, yeah, exactly. Oh, I don't think I don't think at all. I don't. I think uh, I think that the crackdown, the the eviction notice yesterday, is a, is a signal that uh, the authorities are, are starting to be quite irritated with us, even though we are are getting quite a bit of public support, and they wanted to put a stop to us. I think they felt that initially winter would uh, would uh, kill us basically, and they're discovering in, that instead uh, Toronto, Montreal, and here and, and other occupations were. were building uh, much larger structures than uh, initially we had on site, like the, the TP here is a good example of that. Uh, we're, pre we're preparing for, for winter because we were very serious about what we're doing and uh, and I think that the uh, the number, the amount of donations, the number of people who go like this when they pass through the camp, uh, it has not diminished at all. Uh, so it's the, I think things are continuing very strong. Uh, I think uh, the fact that we are starting to influence how the, 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 converse, the, the global and the, and the local conversations uh, that are taking place through the through, through newspapers and, and other um, Can I interrupt media. and just ask him about your own feelings about okay. this? I mean, how long have you been here and do you find yourself still a true believer in effect? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been here since day one. I've had uh, moments of... Uh, Going up and down in the sense that it, you know when you when you work with people that you never worked with before, there's going to be a few clashes, there's going to be a few little like, ego things and a few uh, other. And also we had the, the the difficulty we didn't anticipate that of course the park is already occupied by other people who are all homeless and so on. And, and for a while we had difficulty in figuring out how to manage this. But I think we we in the past week and a half I'd say we we've come out of this and and uh, quite strong. Uh, uh, having incorporated some of the homeless people in, in our own uh, movement uh, and, and because when you start to talk to people they feel respected and uh, they, they feel like they want they, they will want to be part of you in a sense from your point of view though from my perspective from your perspective, from my perspective you're staying I'm, here right? I'm, I'm very I'm very committed um, yes I had a few moments of, of, uh, of not weren't, weren't sure whether this was the right way to go about it but now I'm I'm totally for it. I think uh, this is we're demonstrating by that we're we're able to build a community, uh, a living community, a dynamic and, and equitable community uh, within a relatively anonymous city. I think that's that's quite an achievement. And in 38 days, I think uh, for me is like has been a. I've grown personally so much in the last uh, uh, last month. It's just amazing. So I, I think it's it's in it Osoto. It has uh, the, the people around me have uh, many of them have inspired me to uh, to want to go in and push and push more. And I think it's so personally I see this as necessary because uh, uh, our our governments are, are not are representing more the, the needs of the corporations than they are representing the, the need of uh, of us the people. And uh, it's up to us as citizens, it's up to me as a citizen, I have a choice. I can either do nothing or I can do something. I want to do something. Okay, thank you. Uh, can we roll a two-shot on that, please, here?